This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday morning, the 13th of March. I'm James Spann. You know what? On this date, 19 years ago, we had over one foot of snow on the ground. But this year, we're looking at warm, summer-like weather. Ah, let's take a look at some of the sky cam images around the network early this morning. Yeah, I know some of you remember the blizzard of 93. Uh, that's the uh, Gadsden sky cam. Looks a little foggy there. The sky is mostly cloudy. There's a look at downtown Fayette. Things are nice and quiet there. And Tuscaloosa looking out over the City Hall complex on a, a cloudy, mild March morning. The upper low that lifted out of the southwest came through the Great Lakes last night. It is now lifting up into Canada and weakening. And really, the whole storm track is shifting north, as you can see. We have a flat ridge beginning to nose in from the south, and that means warmer days ahead. Look at those numbers this morning. Uh, it's 60 as far north as Cincinnati at uh, 5 o'clock. Goodness. And you know, when it's that warm early in the day, it's going to be pretty warm in the afternoon. There's the watch warning map around the nation. Uh, the east is very quiet. Got a dense fog advisory down in southwest Alabama. Most of the issues are in the northwest with valley rain and mountain snow out there. Convective outlooks, we have no formal risks for the next uh, several days. Just the low-end 5% chance of severe weather from near Washington, D.C. to New York City today. Tomorrow, from Amarillo, Texas, up to Grand Rapids, Michigan, and on day three, which is Thursday. Just those 5% probabilities over parts of the Midwest and up around the Great Lakes. There's the rain for the next five days, valid through Saturday evening at 7 o'clock. Not much. Up over the Tennessee Valley, maybe an inch, lesser amounts down south. And with this stuff being scattered, it's kind of like summer. These maps just don't work out that well because of the random, uh, random nature of these showers. Let's take a look. This is the OZGFS at 1 o'clock today. The upper trough is lifted up into Canada. And all of the good wave action is way up north. Got the uh, 582 ridge nosing in from the south and down below that. Upper 70s today. More clouds than sun, but the sun should peak out at times. And again, there could be a few scattered showers around, but nothing really widespread. Same thing tomorrow. Look at the, the uh, GFS has 83 tomorrow for the high. And that's within one of the record. The record high tomorrow is 84. Uh, we are bending the vinyl, for those that recall vinyl records. And a partly sunny sky. Chance of a shower be pretty small. Same thing Thursday. Again, the GFS 83, the NAM 82. And just things aren't going to change a lot. There's Friday, warm, humid. Yes, there could be a shower, but they will be very isolated. Most of you not getting wet. For the weekend, same deal. There's Saturday, low 80s are likely. And Sunday, low 80s are likely. But look at the West getting awfully cold. And here's the deal. Monday of next week, oh boy, that's a big trough out West, but a big ridge for the East. High amplitude pattern. And for us, that means warm and basically dry. And they say basically dry. Could there be a shower? Yes, but very widely spaced. The west is cold. In between, thunderstorms are possible over the heartland. And a week from today, same thing. Ridging here means mostly warm and dry. Storms over Texas and Oklahoma and cold out west. 540 line down into Mexico. We'll check the end of the forecast, March 28th. And again, no evidence of the late season cold snap so many of us expect it's almost inevitable inevitable we always have one in april but uh, still ridging and again same deal warm and mostly dry so really for the rest of the month of march the good news no severe weather expected and things look awfully warm that's it for the weather extreme video today we'll have notes on the blog next video here by 3 30 or so today and if you are around here, even if you're not, watch us on television or the web this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.